giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm Don West and this is Mediacom News Leaders. I'm joined now by Jeff Robbins, our MC22 wrestling analyst and a longtime high school wrestling official. Jeff, welcome to you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We have a great uh, honor to talk about uh, for one of our dear friends and mentors, Bob Kenlock, who is going to be inducted into the Missouri chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. This is a big deal for a guy who has meant so much to all of us in high school sports in general in town. Absolutely. I mean, he is, uh, he kind of blazed a path and then just set everything going in a different direction back in the late 60s in this town for wrestling and it's it's a huge honor for such a deserving man. It uh, It's really fun. He was the high school wrestling coach at Central for 43 years and uh, has been such a great influence even beyond that. He really started wrestling uh, at all of the city schools put together. Yeah, he made sure that uh, he beat on the AD's doors and people like that, the superintendent, when, as schools were being built to make sure that wrestling was gonna be in place in the new high schools and really set a vision, I think, in, in making sure that that happened. And then he's also been heavily involved in the 80s when Ozark and Nixa and, and some of these central Ozark schools started popping up and wrestling. He always reached out to those coaches and made sure that he helped with them on scheduling and getting them on his schedule and just being a part of it back then and really helped to answer a lot of questions. Bob's induction will be in Columbia on Sunday, March 29th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon at the Holiday Inn Executive Center. There is a class of eight or nine guys going into this. With there him. is. There's six inductees for that are with the Hall of Fame, and then there's some other awards uh, Person of the Year and Female Wrestler of the Year. Uh, Jaden Cox is on one of them uh, that's being recognized. Of course, he's our most famous wrestler in the state of Missouri with a world champion and a, right now just a bronze medal in the Olympics. Okay. Three, three time national champ for Missouri, uh, four time state high school champion. So, in the wrestling, world he's a pretty big deal too so you can get tickets through a website called ticketleap.com uh, look for the national wrestling hall of fame under that website tickets are fifty dollars each again this event is in columbia missouri on a sunday afternoon march 29th at three o'clock jeff how about bob's influence otherwise around the uh, wrestling in college he was an official and there Back then, there weren't very many wrestling officials around. No, there wasn't very many wrestling people that knew what was going on. And so SMS, of course, wrestled back then. And uh, they held high school tournaments at the old McDonald Arena. And Bob actually one year coached his high school team and helped officiate in different rounds. And it just there wasn't enough people to go around. But he, he did uh, officiate college for probably 10, 12 years at one point in time and, and did all of Missouri or Southwest Missouri State's home duels and a few tournaments because there just wasn't people that knew what was going on with the high school or college wrestling scene back then. You wrestled for Bob in the early 1980s and then uh, continued as an official for 23 years and you've been a, a state uh, official and a, an observer of officials. Was it Bob's influence that uh, kept your interest in wrestling through all these years? Absolutely. Uh, because he just instilled such a, a passion for the sport in you because it meant so much to him that after I got out of high school, I was still going back into the room to help him and help his teams and um, being a part of it. And, and Bob had said a few things to me about looking in, about getting into officiating and went home and talked to my wife and she completely agreed because there was a little bit of money to be made. Yeah, sure. But, you know, the other side of it was she said, if you're going to spend this much time in the sport, you can help in other ways. And uh, so, yeah, it was it was part of that. But Bob also helped me a ton getting started there uh, with officiating and helping me understand what it was going to take to be a, an official and what some slings and arrows you were going to take. So he has been one of the most influential people in Springfield sports for a half a century now. Bob Kenlock going into the Missouri chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. Sunday, March 29th at 3 o'clock in Columbia at the Holiday Inn Executive Center. You can get tickets. They're $50 each if you would like to go through TicketLeap.com. Our thanks to Jeff and thanks to you for joining us, and we'll see you next time here on Mediacom News Leaders.